Hey, what's up, guys? David Glenn of theproaudiofiles.com and davidglennrecording.com, home of the free VIP Mix training bundle. If you haven't done so yet, go sign up, join the mailing list. You're going to gain access to two sets of multi tracks that you can mix and uh, use for your resume, practice mixing. You're going to get a whole slew of impulse responses, a couple of free video courses, excuse me, I'm slurring, uh, video courses, uh, instant downloads and uh, a ton more free just for joining the mailing list. Uh, in this video, we're gonna take a look at kind of an advanced mixing trick, I called it. I've got a guitar, and uh, the, the pattern of the guitar lends itself to some automation to throw out uh, wide and uh, create a cool effect. I've used the Waves ADT, and uh, this is a great plugin. I'm really stoked about picking this up. And uh, if you don't have this, there's a couple ways you can also conceptually do something similar not going to be the exact same effect as the ADT but uh, this one kind of stands on its own but anyways conceptually you can still pick up from this tutorial I'm gonna hit play and uh, show you what I've done to this guitar the first one up here is the actual guitar that uh, you'll hear mainly in the mix and then the one below it I've uh, it was a stereo guitar that was in mono so instead of just ditching the second guitar I threw a uh, spring reverb at 100% wet to create kind of a parallel of the uh, spring reverb sound, but then I put a little bit of treble to boost that up and, and do some stuff. So anyways, these two guitars make up the sound and the automation is on the first track. So let's take a look at what it sounds like and then if you like it, stick with me and I'll show you how I did it. All right, cool. So very clearly you can see that we've got the bypass is being automated for those couple of guitar uh, licks, a little uh, slappage going on. Goes to like, what, eighth, sixteenth notes. So the guitar is right up the middle, and what I wanted to do is in the mix, I'll play just this snippet here before this effect comes in, is I want to just kind of shoot it out wide as if two guitars had uh, come in and accented that part. So let's take a listen uh, in the mix. On the floor. Okay, so the ADT does an incredible job of that. It's also got the pitch shift movement going on. Uh, but if you don't have the real ADT, then by all means, check out what you can do with just your stock delay. I've got a uh, delay set up here. This comes stock free with Pro Tools. Uh, 35, actually the left delay doesn't matter, but 35 on the left, 35 on the right. The thing I picked up from Kenny Joya back in the, uh, the Duck, the Avid Forum years and years ago. Uh, but 0% wet on the left side of your delay, 100% wet on the right. You can play with those numbers, get it to taste, but uh, pretty much it's going to create the impression of um, the left is going to be dry, the right is going to be slightly affected, so it's going to give the impression of two guitars. And uh, it sounds like this. On the floor. I'm ready for contact. It's a hard fight. Still pretty cool, right? So that sounds great. You could always uh, send that and automate to a pitch shifter or a doubler. The difference with the ADT is it's like a randomized movement. I don't even know what they've got going on behind the scenes, the whole Abbey Road um, deal there. So this one was short and sweet, but I hope you dig that. Getting creative with the guitars and uh, tons more coming your way. Don't forget to check out davidglennrecording.com. Jump on the list. There's a link in the description below. Free multi-tracks, free files. You heard me say it at the beginning. I won't say it all again. We'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks again.